Hey folks and welcome back. So, um, I have just, uh, well, loaded up the save file and now we are here exactly where uh, we have left off and it looks like we have some issues over here. It looks like Haddon is doing some um, the maintenance around the base, so that's good. And one more thing, we need to get this area sorted out so that this light bulb will be uh, connected to the power grid and that'll be good. Alright, so anyhow, uh, trading, trading, and a landing, okay, I see. We still need to figure out uh, where we want to have a landing zone, and I think we're just going to put it right outside the fortress for now. And uh, once this is done, our trading uh, intents are all done. So now all we need to do is figure out uh, where we want to put an armory and a weapons rack, and I think we're just going to stick them inside here for now. Um, so go on with that. Oh, what has happened? A solar flare has begun. It looks like intense radiation has shut down all of our electrical de devices. Although our auto turret... Oh, Spoke too soon. Looks like our auto turrets have failed as well. That is, uh, well, that is rather unfortunate. Looks like we're um, going to have to deal with uh, with a power shortage today. Yeah, so um, that's the AI, you know, at work, throwing us uh, curveballs and doing stuff like that. In the meantime, what I think I'll do is that I'll build, a, I'll build another array of power um, storage up here just for just for fun really and you can see that for our uh, power relay I'm trying to make it so that there's a fair bit of redundancy inside the system just in the event that so if one part of this electrical grid fails there will be um, another portion to take over and I think we'll do something like that and we'll just really wait out this solar flare one thing that we do need to uh, sort of look out for is one of those um, geysers or something like that where we can put down a geothermal power generator because I know for a fact that that is, one, that is the most stable uh, source of power. Unfortunately, we just can't seem to find a good place to uh, pluck that down on. Now, there seems to be a handgun here. Is there any more handguns? No, it's just that one. Well, uh, let's actually go back and check who has handguns here. Hatton. Hatton needs to uh, grab one of those uh, right away. Oh, and raiders have landed nearby. Yeah, they're starting to land uh, in force now, eh? Tons of people. So hopefully this time our defenses will be ready simply because, uh, well... Let's see here. Everyone else should have a handgun. Yeah, our guys are armed here, um for the moment being. It looks like they are uh, conversing with each other inside this little room. So what is happening here? They, uh, this guy, this guy really doesn't like to be in the dark, but I mean, he's, um, he's doing his thing. Let's give him some jobs and let's get him to, uh, build some doors here. And we need to, uh, build that equipment rack room, so I guess we'll get started on that. I mean, the other thing is that we need some metal right now. I see our metal uh, store is getting fairly low, but we just can't do that with this power uh, shortage. And I'm not really sure what's happening here. Oh, I see. The torches actually produce uh, some amount of, uh, what do you call it? Some amount of... Oh, there we go. Lights are back. Brightness. Brightness was the word I was looking for. Or light. All right, good. We have the auto turrets back, so that will be uh, that'll be very very good. At least that means that uh, we don't have any problems with that anymore. I'm going to build a room for the sole purposes of keeping the stockpile area in, simply because I don't want my guys to uh, come out here anymore. Um, because this poses a serious serious uh, security hazard with our guys constantly running out here to do their work. Um, so. Aside from that, our base is all set up, and right now, I just want to wait out this raider attack. Speaking of these raiders, they all seem to have landed with, like, half health. These guys must be, like, some sort of savage group. No, they're chatting with each other, too. Simply because, um, yeah, they, they seem to be only armed with pistols, so that's not too bad. Our guys are going to get started on mining, and then, um, as soon as the battle actually starts, I'll, uh, I'll do some stuff with the that. Ah, there we go. So down they're staging their attack. So we'll get everybody, we'll draft them up, and we'll just put them, uh, we'll, we'll just put everybody over here. I'm pretty sure everybody has a gun, or uh, a handgun right now, so when the raiders come, they will have to fight through our two defensive security turrets, and our line of, uh, four guys over here. 
There seems to be only enough cover for three of our guys, so I'll keep one um, person in reserve while the other guys stand on the front line and we'll try to let the turrets do most of the work here. Let's see, what, how many people do they have actually in total? Uh, they have like about six people. The turrets should even things uh, out for us here. I'm starting to wonder whether or not we can put those turrets behind um, sandbags, but I'm not particularly sure if we can do that. I don't even need cover, I'll get the I'll get this guy to come here. Hatton need oh crap. Yeah, Hatton took some damage from that turret exploding. See that those turrets, they really aren't uh these turrets really aren't all too sturdy. We have a few of these dead bodies around here now. I mean they um namely some of these guys are still alive, although just barely. Probably not going to fix them up or anything. They are just gonna have to die out there. Now going back, looks like we'll have to do some base repair to get things done back in order. We'll just do that, and following up from that, our guys will just passively heal up. In the meantime, with no raiders on the map and stuff and such like that, we should do a bit of a mining run, actually. So with that said, there's some raiders down there, and I don't want to go there. But I want to see if there's any uh, ore present on the map that's just kind of easily accessible. Guess we can mine out that block and try to uh, grab something from there. Webster will do that. And we'll speed things up here. Tons of work is being done. Turrets are getting uh, put back in their place. Things are going good. Alright, there we go. That should uh, This should make it so that... Oh, that's right, we need to put that one down before we need to, before we, uh, we build it. Alright, well, as soon as we mine, uh, we're, as soon as we take all of this mineral back to the, uh, to the base, we should have enough to build another stockpile zone and just put it right there. And that should make things uh, a little easier to manage. Yes, yeah, so and simply because I don't want, um, like, in the event that anything happens outside of the base, like a big, big, big siege, um, I want to move that stockpile into an area that we can really protect it um, from. Ooh, that was fairly close to our guys. Not really sure if these... Oh, wow. It actually spreads quite a lot of fire around those uh, those lightning bolts. Yeah, you'll see here that like as soon as soon as we have to harvest food, everybody goes outside to do it, and I would really prefer it if uh, we were able to keep those people inside the base as we uh, as we move forward here. And it looks like we have enough. Uh, resources to do this, so we'll switch the stockpile area to up here, and we'll just sell that one for uh, half of its value back. So that's good. Um, we can also take some of the remains of the turret and use that as a metal. It looks like there's actually a lot of metal down here just inside the uh, place. Oh, another radio attack. Wow, this dark period is actually quite long. Uh, what are they bringing now? Still a lot of these pistols. Oh, we have some different weapons here. Some Lee Infield rifles and some guy with a pump shotgun, apparently. All right, well, in that case, we have tons of metal now. So let's uh, let's beef up our, our turret array. So I'll put two turrets on the side here. And hopefully our guys will build it before anything uh, major happens. And I'll also build some sandbags for our turret. Again, I'm not really sure if this will work, or whether or not the turret can even fire behind these things, but I mean, it's worth a try, and I really don't see how um, how this can be a negative. I mean, at the very worst, hopefully this uh, auto turret will just be, um, be a meat shield of sorts, and just take a whole bunch of fire, but uh, not actually dish out any, so it'll just sort of soak up bullets for us. Alright, so that's kind of done. 
Let's get an armory built. Uh, something like that. I don't want to spend too much metal. And our guys will just finish up that. I really want those guns that those raiders have. And I hope we will be able to... Uh, Incorporate those into uh, our little base soon. Alright, so there we go. Now we have an equipment room to store the excess uh, weapons out here. Speaking of which, how do we move these pistols? Oh, I see. Our guys will just automatically move them back so long as we designate it uh, as a thing to be moved back from. Alright. What else? What else should we do? Electrical power is good. Things are going fairly well. Hmm. One more day left in the dark season, so those guys should be attacking fairly soon. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I noticed that our fortress uh, passively takes damage over time, so then our guys will slowly uh, or gradually fix up the place as uh, time just kind of goes on, so that's kind of neat. Anyhow, these guys will just take cover here. You can actually hobble over the sandbags. And let's see. Who are they sending up first? Sweeney with a pistol, so they'll die fairly fast. Shepard over here has a shotgun. Hudson has a, um, a lead infield. And uh, these guys, these guys. I'll have those, yeah. Also taking cover. And yeah, you can put these guns behind sandbags. Okay, so that's fairly yeah, nice to know. Now, all we need to do is just hold off these guys. Hopefully, the people with rifles will get taken out fairly fast. Yeah, the sandbags are kind of working. They're blocking a few shots. I see that it's blocking like one or two. But it's not doing a lot. You've, you've got to run. That turret is about to explode. Alright, there we go. We'll get our guys to flee back into, into the fortress, or into the little, yeah, base here. Ah, I see, these uh, these guys with the, the bolt action rifles, they actually outrange our uh, guys by a little bit. So with that said, we'll need to go out here, we need to uh, meet them. Yeah, I actually really want to uh, take those rifles away from them, so hopefully... We'll be able to get Hudson right there. The villa has been uh, has been hit critically, so that's rather unfortunate. Let's see, can we? Yeah, uh, we can rescue him though, so that's good. There we go. And the fort, the colony. I've got to stop using the word fortress, but the, the the point is that the colony is fine now. So I mean, at least that is good. Buff up the security uh, by a little bit, actually. Cancel this turret. But we'll build another, uh, we'll rebuild that turret and we'll fix that up. Sandbag array back up. And now we'll sandbag all the guns because now we know that you can actually do that without any uh, real penalty to to it. <laughs> just, uh, just the outsides of our fortress, or our uh, little colony here, it's just all graves everywhere. That was awfully close. Trying to uh, get it so that we can pick up all the pistols. Yeah, all the guns are where the majority of the guns are undesignated, so we'll be able to pick those up, those up over time. And it looks like the scientist is uh, getting some rest, is recuperating, although slowly. And you can go back to doing uh, your own little thing now. So that's good. Our fortress, or our colony, is working now. Things are going uh, fairly good. Now, as now the radar attacks are going to get progressively harder, and what I'm thinking of doing right now is that I want to have a large excess supply of power just in the event that our auto turrets fail, and I want to start doing some research, but our scientist is uh, currently down. So what I think I'll do is that I'll hook up this array like that, so then we can um, hopefully generate some power outside of our base, and in exchange, I'll, um, I'll build a few batteries back here um, where we can keep another set of uh, power running of uh, batteries. So we'll do that. I'm um, pretty sure we can face these batteries in a certain way. 
but I think that'll be good. I know guys will get started on building those. The dark day, the dark season shouldn't be, uh, oh. Dark season actually comes by really rather fast. Oh, actually, it is uh, the light season now, so we do we do have traders on its on their way, so that is very very good. And um, let's see, our scientist is back in action, so that's uh, that's even better news, meaning that we can build a research table now. Oh no, our room is actually oh, it's actually just big enough to fit that research table in, so we'll do that, and we will get some research table. Get some lamps put down, now that we have an excess uh, supply of power. Put another light right here. And that should be good. So later on, hopefully we'll be able to do this uh, do this uh, trade thing. Um, speaking of which, let's see, how do we do this trades thing? Alright, everybody is assigned a different job here. Except for doctoring and wardening. Wardening is uh, what I would imagine to be... Um, about prisoners and stuff and such, and doctoring is um, healing people, obviously, but we don't seem to have um, any people who are able to do that profession, so we'll just leave it like such. Currently, let's go to research, and let's actually research some stuff here. So we have a few different things. We have hydroponics, so we can grow crops indoors. That might be useful. Pneumatic picks, so then we can gain metal uh, faster. Or we can make it our we can make the nutrient paste dispensers a little more efficient. Um, gun cooling, carpet making, fear tech. I think we'll do uh, I think we'll do gun turret cooling uh, right now, simply because that is one thing that we really uh, actually want to get uh, fixed right away. A little power array here is working, and our guys are mining away, getting some more of that metal for us. So, perfect. There we go, found some more metal right there. Oh, and that must be the... Ah, uh, that is a traveler passing by. Oh, didn't mean to build those. Oh well. So, who are you and what can we do with you? Can we do anything with you? No. A trade ship is uh, passing by and they are slave traders. Well, um, as slave traders kind of imply, I would imagine that if you had some uh, prisoners, you can trade with them. Um, but let's see, uh, what can we do here? We can purchase a slave, which is a military commissar, for 1,025. Um, we have a whole bunch of weapons that we can sell here, and that'll give us enough to actually buy one person. Uh, what else do we have here? We have some food, and we also have some other stuff, so we can can sell some food. How do we sell things? Oh, I see. We sell like this. We drag in that direction to sell some of the food. Um, and yeah, we can do that. And what else do these guys have? They appear to have two other things. What are these? I don't know what these two uh, resources are, but I presume that they'll come into uh, effect later on. Currently, let's sell uh, let's sell these merchants some food simply because we have a excess of crops, and we'll trade them that. So we'll send them over that food, and we'll sell off uh, two of the guns. And in exchange, let's actually buy a uh, McKinney, um, which is a military commissar. So we'll do something like that, and that should mean that um, our newly bought slave should appear. And let's check this person. So loyalty is decent, that is decent. The environment is hideous though. Um, although that makes sense though, seeing as how there's just bodies everywhere out here. Although I really don't know how I can clean these bodies up. I mean, they're just kind of everywhere. Can I can I get the turrets to just mop up the bodies? And by mop up, I mean, like, be rid of them by shooting at them? Ooh, and we can do some plants. We can grow some plants. So what that means is that I want to, uh, I don't know if that will interfere with the beds, but I'll get our guys to grow some uh, plants to make up for the hideous environment, and I'll just place these everywhere. Can use some plants to decorate this place, some plants in the armory, have some plants there, some plants there. I'm a little hesitant of, in, of uh, putting some plants inside the bedrooms, simply because I'm not really sure if they'd interact with people sleeping. 
there is a trade ship passing by, a combat supplier ship. And I'll get somebody to uh, take